Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna talk to you about some of the best affordable watches you can buy for your money. And uh, at the end of this video, I will tell you what I would do if I was you, if I were you. So uh, I'm gonna start off this list with one of my favorites and it is Orient Mako. Uh, Orient Mako, uh, Orient is a Japanese manufacturer of watches. They've been doing it ever since the, I don't know, 50s. And uh, they are household name amongst the JDM fans and uh, amongst the Japanese collections. They are owned by uh, Seiko Watch Corporation. They bought them, but they are still making their watches independently in-house and whatnot. Uh, Orient Mako is one of those watches that is super affordable and great value for money. And it's one of those watches that looks great. It looks like a $10,000 watch on your wrist when in fact it's uh, online uh, anywhere between 150 and 200. And uh, Orin Mako has an in-house movement, hacking, hand winding, uh, beautiful blue sunburst dial. I recommend the blue. They have other colors like black and various colors. But the blue and I like the dial layout of the Orient Mako so much that that's why I'm recommending it and not that uh, newer version with the sapphire crystal and of course if you want to buy there's Orient Kamasu which is the same as uh, Mako but it has a sapphire crystal and a little different dial layout but uh, I like Mako and I think it's good value for the money of course, if you like Sapphire, go for Kamasu. Next watch on the list, I have Seiko 5. Seiko 5 Sports, the new Seiko 5 that replaced, well, I don't know if it's replaced, but it definitely looks like Seiko SKX, the, the old version. And the uh, Seiko 5 Sports, similar story like the Orient Mako, except uh, Mako has a screw down crown. Seiko 5 does not, but it's still water resistant. It is rated. Uh, you can do everyday activities with both of these watches. Super water resistant, uh, unless you're a professional diver, but that's that's not happening at all. And uh, yeah, Seiko 5, what's cool about it? Looks like SKX has a see-through case back and uh, a little bit of a lesser water resistance than the SKX but they do come in such a variety of colors and colorations that it is just hard to find one that you do not like and uh, it's hard to find a color that you do not like or color combo whether you have it on a mesh band rubber bracelets and whatnot seiko 5 Seiko is a household name and uh, definitely one of the, my top recommendations, Seiko 5. Uh, next watch I'm going to put because those, these two were a bit more of a dive watches, everyday watches, something you can wear from beach to the meetings. But right now I'm going to recommend a, a dress watch, quote unquote dress watch, something elegant, something thing. But yet something automatic and still uh, respectable and very collectible among, amongst the affordable watch aficionado. So I'm going to recommend Orient Bambino. Again, Orient. Orient is a tremendous value for money uh, in watches, period. If it was Swiss made, it would cost double than it costs right now. And this one you can find online for under 200 bucks. It is a super simple, sleek, elegant dress watch. Variety of colors from gray to white to salmon to cream colors. You name it. Um, lots of variety, lots of sizes. There's a new size uh, with, uh, I believe, 38 mils. So for every wrist, there's a size uh, on Orient Bambino. And I did a review I reviewed Seiko 5, which I mentioned. I reviewed 
uh, Orient Mako, I reviewed Orient Bambino as well. So check out my channel and just type in Orient Bambino EDC Gallery, you will find a review. You want to see more about this watch. But right now, I'm going to move on to the next watch I would recommend. And that is Citizen, uh, Citizen Tuyosa. Now, this is a relatively new uh, release and uh, Citizen kind of tried to cash in of all the covers of the Royal R Rolex OP or Super Petrol with all those covers and crazy, but I like covers uh, that Citizen chose, uh, especially I like the yellow and that particular shade and the, of yellow, the tone of yellow is just beautiful. It's automatic, it's everyday watch, it's enough, it has enough water resistance for every day, for everything you throw at it, still looks great. Something very close to the Oyster Perpetual from Rolex, versatile for any occasion, and you get to choose a variety of colors from green to yellow, and I particularly like the yellow because it's one of my favorite, and I definitely recommend it. It's around 300 bucks, and uh, give or take, but definitely one of the list that I would recommend. Uh, next watch uh, I would recommend would be if you want a GMT. If you don't know what a GMT function is, GMT function is that uh, you want to, GMT uh, watch has additional hour hand and it allows you to track the second time zone. So if you have an aunt or uncle in London or in UK or in New York, and you can keep track of that second time zone effortlessly. And one of the uh, best and afford most affordable GMT watches that recently has been released is from Seiko GMT, Seiko 5 GMTs. And that watch looks exactly like the Seiko 5 I mentioned at the front of the, at the start of this video, but it has uh, additional GMT complications. Again, totally, totally Seiko, totally in-house. And also, lots of colors variations. I also um, did a video about Seiko 5 GMT, so you can check that out on my channel as well. And uh, next watch on this list, probably one of the most better looking watches, is the Tissot PRX. I could have gone with any other Tissot, but I chose to uh, pursue and to recommend you Tissot PRX, simply because it looks great. It looks wonderful. And uh, it has that integrated bracelet angles, beautiful dials. I will toss in you a couple of photos. And it has a Swiss made movement Powermatic 80, which is the successor of ET2824 2. And this Powermatic 80 is, uh, they call it an upgrade. I'm not really sure about that. But in terms of accuracy, in terms of accuracy, it is super accurate and uh, it will, it should serve you a long time. And uh, you just need to find a color that you like. And also, if you want to pay, uh, if you want to take a 50% discount on this, this OPRX automatic, you buy a quartz version that is around 300 bucks and uh, automatic is more like 550, 600. And uh, you buy a quartz version, which is okay if, you, if you're if you not that concerned about the moment and you still get a great watch, a Swiss made prestigious watch uh, with a great moment. Okay, next on the list, I would, I have to go with Seiko Alpinist. And I put these watches like in pairs, this or that. And when I mention the next one, uh, you will see what I'm talking about. The Seiko Alpinist, Japanese version of the field watch, the watch for adventures, the watch that's very capable, that is really resistant. That's some, that looks something like no other watch does look. It's like a, for the explorers, it has compass on it. And it's a perfect counterpart, Seiko counterpart for the watch uh, from Hamilton, which I'm gonna recommend next. And that's a Hamilton Kaki Automatic. 
Now, Hamilton Calculo Matic is a Swiss made, Hamilton's a Swiss made brand, originated originally in Pennsylvania, United States, but it was bought out by Swiss. Uh, if you are romantic, you can find that old Hamilton pocket clutch and it will be made in USA. Uh, but Hamilton, uh, it's a khaki line. It's a one of the line of the watches. They make field watches, watches for every day, for EDC, for everyday wear, uh, watches that can go well with the suit. You have just one watch uh, for every occasion. And uh, that's kind of theme of this video because at the end, I will talk to you about it. But Hamilton Kaki Automatic, definitely one of my recommendations. And uh, last watch, uh, we're gonna need just one more watch to make this top 10, and I'm not gonna use it. Uh, this is watch number nine, and uh, I wanna put something more. Uh, I wanna put die watch, uh, but there are so many die watches out there, so many homage watches, die wears watches that were made uh, that look to look like Submariner but I'm gonna recommend I'm going to recommend uh Certina Certina DS Action or Certina DS Heritage and uh Certina did what most of watch brands did in the last couple of years and they dig deep into the history well those watches and watch brands that do have history actually and Certina certainly does this so as well. And most of these brands do. And uh, they dig and took their vintage designs and make the watches new. So DS Heritage is a dive watch. It uses Powermatic AD as well because they are a member of this watch group as well. Uh, but they use the design uh, of the vintage inspired design, they own vintage inspired design, not someone else's like those uh, micro brands are doing they own and they make beautiful die watches they're just gorgeous and if you're into die watches and this watch can stand on its own just it so i'm gonna i mentioned i believe i mentioned nine watches uh i haven't really counted but i think i did and uh we just need one more to complete the list to make it top 10 but you know what? I can name 20 more watches, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that number 10 slot for you. So write down your own suggestions. And also I want to uh, you to write me down uh, watches that if you think some of these watches should not be on the list, write me that. But I want to hear your own suggestions. So uh, check out the comment section down below and uh, add number 10 watch that you would recommend because i know most of you are watch guys but this is video more for the guys who are just starting off with watches and uh also i want to tell you what i would do uh if, if it was me uh what i would do i would just pick one watch from this list i would not get all 10 of them it would be amazing collection it would be amazing affordable collection but uh i have a different philosophy just buy one watch of this list the one you like the most uh for the rest do not uh worry a bit because i would not recommend it if there's any issues or problems with these watches just pick one for example this prx or i don't know orient mako or whatever fancy uh whatever you fancy and just wear it and uh think uh, connect with that watch and think what watch should you get next next and uh, my philosophy is to have just one decent affordable watch uh, not to have 10 affordable watches and whilst I have one affordable watch I'm saving and contemplating what my first luxury watch would be and I did it uh, and if I did it you can do it too